Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and this is the fourth video in our in our series on uh, BJT transistor logic gates. And in this video, we're going to focus on the NAND gate. In this case, the circuit we're after is right here, and I apologize that these are probably a little close together and harder to see. But what we're interested in is the uh, is the uh, transistors and all on the in this case on the right hand side here there's two gates side by side here we've got the NOR gate on the left but we're looking at the the uh, transistor setup on the right here and I'll turn this a few times to try to make it a little easier for you to see uh, what this what this gate is made up of let's go back the other way here what this gate is made up of is basically four transistors and is um, very similar to the AND gate and the OR gate we saw previously. Uh, you'll note those were each three transistors. This one has four transistors in that, the f in that one of those transistors actually does an inversion of the, the logic. So what you're looking at is if we come in here and look a little more closely at this uh, right here. You're looking at the first two transistors on the right. You'll see that there is a connection from ground to the emitter of that first transistor. Uh, there is a, a uh, 10k ohm transistor that connects between ground and the base of that transistor. And there's a 220 ohm resistor that connects between the base and this yellow wire and ultimately ground and then there's a black wire or excuse me brown wire that connects from the collector over to the emitter of the next transistor it has a very similar setup again the resistor to ground off the base and a resistor off also off a of base to another wire going to ground and then finally a, a brown wire off the collector into a resistor that goes into the base of the third transistor. Now this third transistor is the first of the inverters. It inverts the uh, the signal that comes out of the first two, which these are the AND gate. Since they work in a linear fashion, they both have to be on in order for the output uh, of the AND to be on. This third one then takes that output and inverts it to if if both of these were on this one will make it off which is your NAND function and then finally you'll notice and it has a very similar setup has the, the 220 ohm resistor in has the 10k ohm in this case though to the positive rail uh, has a uh, connect as a connection off the emitter to base and then the collector into our final staging transistor which I've talked about before and the staging transistor simply turns the positive logic, uh, the negative logic, to positive logic because the NPNs are going to generate uh, when they're on. They're going to generate a ground signal, and we want a positive or a, a five volt signal as our output. So this happens to be a PNP transistor, which you'll see has its emitter connected to the positive rail, has a resistor from base to the positive rail, has the 220 ohm input resistor which is coming off the collector of the previous and then finally the output off the collector is going to the LED and the LED is going to ground so what you really got is your your two input and your not circuit kind of embedded right in the middle of this to make it a NAND and then your staging transistor for your output currently uh, the AND portion is set so that it is on meaning I'm sorry so it's off you'll notice both of them are going to ground so those transistors will be in an off state which should cause this transistor to be in an on state so uh, basically let's turn the circuit on you'll notice on comes our LED 
Uh, if we were to go in here, let me switch hands here a little bit. If we were to go in here and pull this one out, go to positive rail with it, and pull this one out and go to the positive rail with it, you'll notice our LED goes off. That's because in our NAND configuration, the two going to the positive rail become ANDs. I mean, excuse me, the two of them going to the positive rail basically turn the AND gate off, and then the, na the NOT portion turns it... Um, I'm sorry, both of them... Sorry, correct myself here. Both of them coming off the positive rail going to the AND turns the AND on and then the NOT, the third transistor, turns it off. So there is your NAND function. And then as we noted the last transistor simply turns it to positive logic. So you're off. If we go back and pull out either one of these you'll notice our LED goes back on. If we pull them out, they both out again it stays on. So it will be on in all conditions except where both inputs are on the positive rail. If we go ahead and look at our uh, circuit for this, uh, the circuit will be a little bit larger than the ones you've seen in the past because now we have the two stages, well three stages. So on the left you'll see logic that's almost identical to what we had in our AND circuit. Uh, the two uh, input switches going into transistors Q2 and Q3 uh, through the 220 ohm resistors. Those are the base inputs. You'll also see the two 10k ohm uh, resistors that go to ground to basically uh, keep those transistors in an off state unless an input is actually, unless a positive input is provided. Then you'll see the newer piece right in the middle with transistor Q4. This is the NOT circuit and if you go back and were to look at our video on the NOT circuit you'll see that this is virtually identical. It's got the output from the AND going through a 220 ohm resistor to the base of this transistor as well as the 10k ohm resistor going down to the positive rail so that this transistor will basically invert whatever signal comes into it uh, so if it gets a 1, it'll output a 0. If it gets a 0, it'll output a 1. And then finally, that's filtered, that's driven into the, f the third and final stage. Again, a 220 ohm resistor into the base of Q1. 10k ohm resistor off the base to positive rail. And that what that does is cause this transistor to invert the logic. So... In reality, if you think about this, the NPN transistors, when they are when they're in operational mode, they're providing a ground signal through them to whatever uh, follows on. So once, if we look first at the AND stage, if both of those are on, you're seeing ground going. Uh, you're seeing ground coming out of Q2, going into Q4. At this point, with ground in that position, that transistor is actually turned off. Um, so you're not seeing any output from it. It's basically floating. What that then does, then Q1 gets that that uh, floated uh, floated signal, and because of it, the 10k ohm uh, resistor going into the base causes the base to see positive voltage. In a PNP transistor, positive voltage will cause that transistor to uh, um, to be off, in which case the LED is off. So we've converted that ground signal uh, into positive logic instead of being uh, the on condition which, a P which an NPN would in essence provide. We're causing it to be an off condition, which is what we want. So that's how that final stage actually works in here. Uh, finally, looking at the truth table, you'll see that it is an AND, cir an and circuit. Uh, it's on in all cases except when both inputs are on, in which case the output is off. So that's our uh, NAND gate. Uh,
Hope you found this interesting and take a look at the other videos to see the other types of gates that can be uh, built with these BJT transistor circuits. Thanks.